You're wondering why the demand for your junk removal business tends to go up and down and never really stays truly consistent? I want you to check out this video because chances are your business is dealing with the swing per season of demand. All right. And what that means is in junk removal, we all know during the summer, it's the busy season, right? That's when it should be booming. However, even within the summer, as you can see right now, you'll still have some times where things slow down a bit. For instance, usually 4th of July weekend is one of the slower weeks in the summer, as well as Labor Day week, which we just passed a few weeks ago. And you may even see that extend past the holiday a bit. For instance, right around Labor Day week, kids go back to school. Some states, it's usually early August. Some areas, it's towards Labor Day. But whatever the case may be for your state, you'll see that things slow down a little bit, right? Because on the residential side, they're kind of having a shift in their schedule and there's not typically a time where they're going to undergo a project in the house. So you'll see a slowdown in demand. So how can you prepare for that? So drunk removal business, drunk removal business owner. Well, some of the things you need to understand is when to be a little bit more aggressive and when you don't have to be as aggressive. So when the demand is high, you don't need to be as aggressive, right? Because there's more people for you to get in front of. So whether it's organically or you're running Google ads, there isn't much involved for you to stay pretty busy, right? The demand and the people are coming to you. What some fail to realize though, is that it's rare for it to stay like this 24 seven every single day, all right? There are going to be shifts in demand. So, when you're at a point where you're not seeing that same demand, you now need to be aggressive to get in front of it. So instead of sit back, sitting back and waiting and enjoying the demand coming to you, the best companies in their area are going to be aggressive and go after that clientele while the demand isn't there. All right. And you could do that in a few different ways. One of the biggest challenges especially for a business who's starting off or maybe is limited on funds is what they'll typically do is when things slow down, they will pull out of marketing or won't market in general. And it's a huge mistake because what you've just done is taking yourself away from eyeballs and demand and made it even harder to get in front of the customers who are searching with it being even more limited. All right. And I see this a lot in the winter where businesses will pull their marketing budget, they'll stop marketing in the winter. When in reality, they should have went even further into their marketing budget because a lot of their competitors have pulled out. So even though the demand is lower, they now have a better you know, real estate to get in front because there's less competition. So whereas in the summer when you were marketing, there may have been 10, 15, 20 junk removal companies all vying for the same eyeballs. Now in the winter, there might only be 5 to 10, maybe even less. And even though the demand is lower, you have less competition to get in front of it. So you still have an advantage. So keep that in mind as we start gearing towards the winter. It may not be ideal to pull your marketing budget out because a lot of other people are going to do it and it may give you a strategic advantage if you stick with the budget and the marketing plan. Now there's other things that you can do in the winter. You know, you could put together a little bit more of an organic plan if you'd like to kind of keep yourself a safety net with your marketing budget. But I do not recommend completely pulling your marketing budget in the winter because there are some advantages to staying the course and maybe even doubling down and putting more ad budget in while there's less competition. But the main purpose of this video is to, for you guys to understand that your strategy needs to be different. You know, you cannot expect the demand to stay the same over the course of the year. You have to understand that in the winter and during different weeks of the summer and fall and spring, things will be a little bit slower. And if that is the case, that means it is time for you to get more aggressive to do the things that you need to do to get in front of your customers. And that could be a lot of different things. We've discussed plenty of them in different videos here. You know, maybe focus a little bit on commercial. Maybe it's getting out there and a lot, little bit more boots on the ground. Guerrilla marketing, right? You know, flyers, business cards, shaking hands, uh, B&I, Chamber of Commerce, 
there's a lot of different ways to get business. The best is when you can kind of sit back and it comes to you, but that's not always going to be the case. So I think some of you, if you're in a position where sometimes business is great and other times you're sitting at home, that time that you're sitting at home, you need to be up off your ass and getting in front of people and building these connections. That way, you're utilizing the time you have to build the business instead of sitting home and waiting it waiting for it to come to you you need to go get it some of you just aren't getting it you're not going out and getting it you're waiting for it to come to you and i don't i don't understand that if we really want to grow our business we need to do everything in our power to get in front of it especially if we have the time to do so so use that time wisely where it is slower and be a little bit more aggressive and finding ways to get in front of your customers, whether that's on the residential side or whether that's on commercial. Because if you if you really want to get it, you will find a way to get it. The business is out there. It's a lot easier to sit there and, and make excuses and say, oh, well, you know, everybody's undercutting me on price or this or the economy's bad. Somebody's out there right now doing a job, charging more than you do. I promise you. So you need to go out and get it. Quit worrying about the negatives. Quit worrying about the excuses. If the calls aren't coming in, then we need to go out and get in front of them. And we could do it through marketing. We could do it through, you know, whether it's Google, whether it's Facebook, whether it's boots on the ground, whether it's calling people from apartment complexes to property managers to realtors to hotels to assisted living facilities i don't care but there's a lot of opportunity out there we need to do what we can to get in front of it when the calls aren't just coming to us because that time is going to come and when it does and when you have that time to leverage that's when it's time for you to be aggressive and get in front of those people and do the things that you can do to overcome that slower period where the demand might not be quite as high because the ones that are going to sit around and wait, they're going to lose out on the business of the competitors who are going out and getting it when it's slow instead of sitting and waiting for it to come to them. So I hope this resonates with some of you guys because I know this is something that I see way too often and it's because we get a little complacent and we're enjoying the calls just coming in, setting up for us. Sometimes we need to be a little bit more aggressive and just go out and get it. And I think if you guys are able to do that and you mix it in with your busy seasons, you will set yourself up very well in this business and you'll be set up for success. So I hope this helps you guys. If it did, I would love if you could give the video a like. And as always, thank you for watching and I hope this content was helpful for you.